welcome back to the Wellness Wonderland Kitchen. I'm so glad you're here and I'm so excited for today's video because today I'm showing you one of my favorite shakes, smoothies if you will, but it's more of a shake really and it's super easy, super energizing and super healthy. So let's get started. All you really need is our lovely Vitamix, my best friend in the kitchen. Um, some spinach or whatever greens you really want to have. Um, we just had a Trader Joe's trip, so some organic greens, spinach, kale, whatever you have in your refrigerator. This again is something that hopefully you'll have the ingredients for all the time and you can just kind of take what you have and make do. So the next thing you need is this wonderful green vibrance, which um, is really great and healthy. It not only has tons of seed vegetables, um, but it also has some probiotics in it. It's great. And then almond milk and um, or water, just need a liquid. Um, some of this really great walnut cashew, raw walnut cashew butter is what I'm going to use today, but you could use um, almond butter. Either way would work and some bananas and some really healthy maca powder. It's a super food and so great for you and will really just add a little nooch to this. <laughs> and um, some, I've got this Nunu Naturals, which is probably like the best stevia brand and it's just um, alcohol-free vanilla um, stevia. So let's just get started here. Let's pour in a little bit of almond milk. Um, you know, just kind of eyeball it cup, cup and a half-ish. You can also use water, but put the liquid in first because that always helps. And we'll do like a little handful of spinach and a little handful of these other greens, push it down. And then we will take a spoonful of our walnut cashew butter. Protein, really good, energizing. And then we'll just take a scoop of our green vibrant, throw that in there, scoop of that, and a little bit of maca. See how easy this is? Just so simple. A little bit of that, throw it in there. And then really with the banana, it's already gonna be really sweet and the walnut cashew butter sweetens it. So just a drop of the vanilla stevia, just like one, don't overdo it or it'll just taste like that. And then the cool thing, I've got all these bananas here and that is because I wanted to talk to you today about how ripe bananas are so much better for you in so many ways because number one, they will make your smoothie taste better because they are sweeter. So they're great to put in green smoothies. And number two, because you can buy them, this is a little trick, on sale in the store when they're starting, this one might be a little bit too ripe, but you definitely wanna have your bananas spotted. You can buy them in the store like this, and even if you don't go through them right away, what you can do, what I do, is just peel them, slice them in half like I just did, and throw them in the freezer. So then you can just go into your freezer and you always have ripe bananas no matter what day it is. So I'm gonna pull out this frozen one and put it in here because I actually like them frozen. I like the little texture. It makes it a little bit more like a milkshake. You could even add some ice cubes into this to really like make it thick. Um, I also add like adding half of a zucchini into this smoothie. Same recipe sometimes. So let's just go ahead and blend. Get it going here. It'll turn green in a second. try it right from the Vitamix. If you want to make it a little thicker, a little sweeter, add a full banana, some ice. Let's see. Mmm. Really good. That's a strong one. All right. Enjoy. Make this smoothie. It's great as a snack. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Whenever you want it. Enjoy. Bye.